guys and welcome back to my channel you already know you're rocking with the girl the miss youtuber baby and let's get into it because little woo wop we ain't done we is not done I, this is something i've been wanting to put out there ben because you don't have a song come out by a child that goes viral with 3.3 million views all about kill my mom and then a child kills their mom over an oculus and then you don't relate that back to this kid oh no baby check the uh the search history i bet you any money he was jamming to woo -wop. buy him something on amazon and then he purchased a virtual reality headset from her amazon account the day after she died the deadly shooting happened monday at the boys home near 87th and hemlock on the northwest side of the city Police initially ruled the shooting accidental, but the criminal complaint says the 10-year-old's family called police with serious concerns the next day. The boy's sister telling detectives, quote, he has had rage issues all of his life. He becomes very angry and acts out, adding that he had been seeing a therapist. And when police questioned the boy a second time, they say he told them the shooting wasn't accidental and that he was mad at his mother because she woke him up early that morning. According to this complaint, police say the boy told them he took his mother's keys and grabbed the gun from a lockbox, then went down to the basement to confront his mother while she was doing laundry. The boy told him. Yo, I had to stop it right here because I'm going to crack all y'all face. Why this church going woman had a gun in her house? Why did this church going woman have a gun in her house? Because she didn't trust the Lord. Because we all know that we do not need weapons. Um, we don't need weapons in the flesh. We need weapons in the spirit. Okay? Got my weapons in the spirit. I don't need nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Because if somebody come up in here, I could easily, easily get your weapon in my hand through the word of God. And use it for my protection. I don't need that. Because whatever God wants for me going to happen. I don't have no gun in my house. Because I know the devil could use that against you. Do not keep them weapons in your house. Do not keep weapons in your house. This little boy now has blood on his hands. Don't you know that when you go out and you save not save lives, but when you go out, you help people find Jesus and you help them get their lives saved. That kind of counts as a game for you, right? In, in the heavenly kingdom. So when you are out acting for the, the devil's kingdom, you get gains too. Okay. So he got his first one. So who else, who else down for killing their mom and their dad? following the woo wop situation because all that's going to be on baby boy hands and if he never finds himself to repent he's going to die in no sense and that's the kid i'm talking about because a lot of people always talk about oh kids is innocent kids is a girl some kids is consecrated for the devil the debate on kids in heaven and hell is still up for discussion but the bible tells us what happens to people who make children miss heaven, right? So we can guess that they're not going to be there. And that's why the punishment is so harsh for people who harm kids or get in God's way of getting that soul to heaven. You in trouble. But they don't care about being in trouble because they are trouble. They are the devil. That's their daddy. And and guess what? If little Woo Wop got to die with the blood on his hands and be tortured in hell in hell for you know until you go into that lake of fire. They don't care. As long as they're gonna be riding in Lambos. Okay. And another thing. On that video, because I never seen the video. They literally show you, like, first of all, they, like, thank the devil in the beginning. And then they literally show you at the end um, where Woo Wop kind of goes into a trance. And I just want to let y'all know that these videos and songs and stuff like that, they literally put demons in your house. And if you don't pray, you don't rebuke these demons. If you don't break these, you know, um, break these chains of bondage and everything that they attach to you once they come into your house, they're going to roll in your house, all right? They're going to live in your house. They're going to conduct your house. They're going to make your kids do things. They're going to make you do things. They're going to make your neighbor do things. They're going to make your friends do things. And you got to have the power and authority over that. You got to recognize that. So, therefore, and I know they say the mom was a praying mom and stuff like that. And um, a lot of times, you know, praying moms, the, the devil try to creep in some kind of way. It got to get to you. So what's the main thing that you need to be doing? Praying over them kids. Praying over them kids. So pray over them children.